withdraw the certificate of return given to the man called Senator Ahmed Bola Tinibu as president-elect. Seven, appoint an interim president for Nigeria that will take over from President Muhammad Buhari after May 29. <laughs> guys, so Kassara don't boast everywhere. The whole internet is on fire, guys. <laughs> I'm laughing at Tini, but I don't know how he will he will take all the things that is happening right now. I don't even know. He think he's dealing with the lazy youth that they called us. Oh, the mistake they made is to allow it to be to contest in the first place. They didn't see it coming. They did not. They think it's the way they used to do it. He said it's his turn. He don't even have anything to offer us. The only thing I keep on saying that is that now is his turn to be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> the youth has waking up oh, everywhere is <laughs> everywhere is messed up. Sorry guys that I'm laughing. Just the whole thing is is giving me joy, guys. There is still hope. Obedience. There is still hope. He think he's dealing with <laughs> Oh, you think he's dealing with uh, a, a low assessment. <laughs> he don't know who Tito B is. Does he know the name of Daniel? I don't think he knows because if he knows, he wouldn't have allowed him to confess in the first place. Guys, so as you all know that they went to court yesterday and they called ordered Muhammad Buhari not to give Tinibu the certificate of return because by now they would have given it to him as they give orders via certificate. But Tinibu is yet to take his own because they ordered they ordered um President Muhammad Buhari not to do so. He said that he should maybe um not maybe in May because May is when he was supposed to swore in as the um president of Nigeria. But instead of them to swore him in in that he should swore in interim president instead of swearing to enable the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So guys there is still hope. We still have hope. Although it's going to take years or months but the main thing there is that they are going to return our mandate. That one is for sure. So guys, let it not be I'm the one saying it. I'm going to leave the video for you guys to see where the other Muhammad is going to do so. If I'm not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. Because I'm going to break it back to back. I'm going to be dropping it back to back for the rest of this winter. As far as this election is concerned, you guys are going to be seeing updates from this channel. So my journey subscriber, thank you guys for this. So guys, be happy. Just share this video to Obidem because we still have hope in this country. I still hope. Although we still have a lot of work to do, but we're, we're definitely going to start from somewhere. And that somewhere is from Obidem. From Obi. He's the one that is going to take us to the promised land. And we all will get there soon. So guys, let me just drop the video for you guys to see it for yourself action carried out by INEC before gone through every election action carried out by INEC before, during and after the presidential elections and discovered that the leadership of INEC did not host an election with the influence of the Electoral Act but hosted a doctored script already arranged as a selection game plan to make the ruling APC remain in office. These actions are wrong from every aspect of a nation practicing democracy as a system of government. And as a democracy outfit, we in the, v we in the VMCII are officially rejecting the outcome of the elections released by INEC as results and we are only we are the only ones that are fit enough to ask the INEC and the federal government to revert the process the proceedings of the 2023 presidential elections to a cooking pot of a stillborn child because its process 
are honestly not accepted by the people and the values of our democracy in general. The world knows that these presidential elections were conducted under a very serious disrespectful disrespect to our citizenry because INEC refused to follow the rules of the game which provides that voting results were expected to be uploaded at real time which the world did not see at all. These are electoral irregularities and it, provide, it, it provided the platform for the election rigging we have seen today. One, cancel the presidential elections. Two, upload original voters result as in the beavers. Three, remove the INEC chairman as head of the commission. Four, arrest the INEC chairman and prosecute him by law for being part and parcel of those who read this election in regards to making the APC remain in power. Five, withdraw the certificate of return given to the man called Senator Ahmed Bola Tinibu as president-elect. Six, present a new electionary calendar date for the presidential and National Assembly election in view of the 2023 Electionary Act by the, uh, uh, supported by the uh, Electoral Act of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Seven, appoint an interim president for Nigeria that will take over from President Muhammadu Buhari after May 29, 2023, so that the interim president will finish the would finish the work load that President Muhammad Buhari is expected to do in May 29. Because if INEC or this federal government agrees to cancel this election, it means that there will be new there will be a new electionary plan. And the law states that President Buhari cannot be allowed to stay more than May 29 for uh, his tenure in office. So therefore, that brings an opportunity why an interim national government will be formed. So we advise the president to please stand aside, follow the law, shop from now for someone who could be appointed as the interim president that will conduct the new elections while he go back to Daura May 29. INEC chairman must eight INEC chairman must apologize to Nigerians for lying to the nation and faking the 2023 presidential election results. Nine. We state here in that with our findings of the electionary activities. Mr. Peter Obi of the Labour Party remains the winner of the 2023 presidential elections. So he should be declared winner if the elections can not be cancelled as requested by the Nigerian people who voted for him nationwide, giving Peter Obi their mandate. Meaning that if these elections cannot be cancelled, we have to use the beavers to declare the real results. We have these results already with our agents scattered across Nigeria in the election day, and we have decided to declare that Peter Obi of the Labour Party is the original winner of the 2023 presidential elections, and INEC should obey the law by declaring Peter Obi president of Nigeria. Ten. As we stand up daily at the National Fountain in Abuja for our democracy and our presidential mandate, we call on the federal government to take away any security personnel that will be a distraction to our very peaceful protest to take back our Nigeria at all costs. This means that this group is going to come out from tomorrow 
at the Unity Fountain to peacefully protest the return of our mandate stolen by the ANEC chairman and his leadership until they return that mandate either in court or either by cancellation of the elections for another election will remain there and we advise and we expect that the security apparatus of the Federal Republic of Nigeria controlled by President Muhammadu Buhari should not be a distraction to what we are doing. We are going to be there in peace. We love Nigeria. And the only way to show love for Nigeria is to present Peter Obi as President of Nigeria.